Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a late 2008 model year launch of 5,007 pieces. This is the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean Quantum of Solar limited edition launched in coordination with the James Bond film of the same name. It continues the long-running connection between Omega Watches and James Bond that started in 1995 with Pierce Brosnan in GoldenEye. Now, of course, Quantum of Solace featuring Daniel Craig as Bond and this watch, the Planet Ocean series, commonly associated with Craig the way the Diver 300 meter was commonly associated with Brosnan. It's a big watch. At 45.5 millimeters in diameter in stainless steel, it's 15.2 millimeters thick, which is actually pretty thin for a planet ocean. It measures 51.6 millimeters from lug to lug, and if you include the end links of the bracelet, it is 57.7 millimeters across the wrist with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now we take the watch, we throw it on my wrist. My wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference. You can see it's a big watch. Maybe if you're Daniel Craig, this is a good fit, but you need a bigger wrist than mine to wear this watch well. I would say bare minimum wrist size to wear this watch is going to be a 17 centimeter circumference wrist. But again, it's not as thick as other Planet Oceans. And that really comes across in profile where you can see that it sort of hunkers down low enough that it shouldn't be an impediment to most sleeves, including just about all jacket cuffs, but it is a big watch. We have a bracelet that is handsomely made, all satin, and you can see on the flanks a little bit of polishing. Satin down the tops, so you can see removable links are fixed by pins and sleeves, so it's a very secure system, but you'll need a block and punch if you want to size it at home. There is a half link built in, and then we have a snap-out milled steel dive extension for use over a dive suit or even just a thick winter coat. You can see that the engraving on the clasp remains deep and sharply defined. We have, of course, the 007 logo. So you have a twin trigger release system, thick gauge steel for the swing arm as well as the clasp body. It remains impressive to this day. It feels redoubtable. We have the lyre style lugs that have been famous on Speedmasters and Seamasters since the first half of the 60s. A little bit of a countersink for the crown to give it some sheer guard protection. The mid case is satinated, the bevels are polished, and you can see that the watch includes a sharp knurling around the bezel, and it has a polished outboard face with the recesses satinated for contrast. Screw down crown, 600 meter water resistance. We have a helium escape valve, which you can open prior to a dive, and when the internal pressure exceeds external pressure by two to three bar, the valve opens internally and releases the helium that may accumulate during saturation diving with this hardcore dive watch. Taking a look at the bezel, anodized aluminum insert, an exceptionally vocal and sharp 120 click action. You can easily line up the bezel pearl with the broad arrow minute hand. Broad arrow minute and hour hand here. We've also got tri-Arabic numerals in an open six, open nine font. A nod to the earliest days of the Seamaster series back in the late 50s, early 60s. You can see the watch is well loomed and that the bezel pearl is green, so you can easily distinguish it from the other features of the dial. There's also a feature I think every dive watch should have, which is a loomed running seconds hand. The dial base is a sort of pyramid or a pyramid hobnail. We also have applique indices, numerals, and omega logo to give it an upscale look. And if you look very closely, you can see that the name of the film, uh, Quantum of Solace, not just the name, but also the logo used for the movie poster is ghosted onto the underside of the sapphire crystal. And we turn everything over. And you can see this is still very much the solid case back era of the Planet Ocean, which helps to contribute to the thinness of it. You have the 007 logo on a lovely chiseled base. It's actually a micro drilled base with a polished 007 logo and a screw down case back inside a Omega Caliber 2500, which is the coaxial version of the 2892A2. It's an automatic winder with a 48 hour power reserve. It has hacking seconds and a quick set date. It's adjusted in five positions. It is a COSC certified chronometer. It uses the George Daniels coaxial escapement system, which uses tangential contact to reduce friction, improve power reserve and precision. 
and of course it is a 27 joule movement. Uh, it also has a free sprung balance to make it a little bit more rugged in comparison to the original 2892 on which it's based. To be perfectly honest, it's based on the Omega 1120, which in turn is based on the 2892, so that is the lineage of the movement inside this case. Again, one of the reasons it's so thin, it is based on a 2892A2 architecture. Reach out to tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.